This is the EcoBoost Mustang. Now, it's got a little 2.3 four-cylinder motor with a little turbocharger on it. And that is a very tiny turbocharger, by the way. But it still makes 310 horsepower and 320 foot-pounds of torque. Unlike the GT, the EcoBoost doesn't really have a savage personality. You're not necessarily going to have a hard time pushing the car. It's so easy. It's so easy. This car actually has a lot of grip. Now, one of the criticisms of this car ever since it came out has been, well, you know, why would you buy a four-cylinder Mustang? Just get a GT. Mustang is supposed to have a V8. So why would anybody who wants a Mustang even consider it? Well, first and foremost, there's the gas mileage. With the top down, cruising at 80 miles an hour on a 200-mile trip, I averaged 30.2 miles to the gallon. When was the last time you got 30 miles to the gallon in a stock Mustang? I know what we're gonna do. Oop. We're gonna almost stall. Nobody saw that. Everybody saw that. How much fun you get out of this car is entirely up to you. With this, you get all your power in the mid-range. In all honesty, if you've never driven a real-wheel drive car before, and this is the first one you do, I think you'll be okay. 